Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with Julian here. In the last episode we went up to Dragon's Reach and delivered the message from Alvor to Jarl, Jarl Balgruf about the need for troops in Riverwood. And uh, the court wizard and Jarl Balgruf requested that we head to uh, Bleak Falls Barrow and gather a uh, and, and grab a stone tablet for them something about dragon burials and uh, other things julian kind of stopped listening Dragons, for the have. most part but um dragons world gone mad i say agreed we're going to uh head into bellathor's shop real quick and pick up some potions and we'll probably stop uh, at the potion shop next door. Everything's as well. for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Well, that's nice, I suppose. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's a little joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. Anyway, what do you have for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. All right, so for the most part, we're looking for potions. Eh, I suppose that's not too bad. And then I also want to sell the steel armor. We're a mage. We're not really going to be needing that. Well, thank you, Bellathor. Do come back. Hmm. Maybe. Bit of a creep, that guy. And then we'll stop in here at Arcadius Cauldron. All right. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Well, I assure you I'm fine. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. No, not at all, but... What do you have for sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Of sorts. All right, so we're gonna go through. I'm looking for magic potions. Resist fire. Hmm, very expensive though, that's the only problem. And looking to see, what do we have here? Blister wart and wheat. Thank you. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. All right. Well, I am going to use your um, alchemy station over here if you don't mind. And we're going to take the blister wart and the wheat and create some health a potions. Potion you put together. And now in total we have 322 points of health and 325. It's not too bad. It's workable. And now we are going to head towards uh, Riverwood. And seeing as how you have already seen me make that trek, I don't want to make it a uh, too big of an annoyance, you know, trekking back and forth. I'll do everything on camera at least once, but after that I think I'll probably cut things out. So I will see y'all once we get there. Alright, and we're back. Uh, nothing really eventful happened on the way here. We just uh, ran up alongside the guards all the way up. And I think we're going to stop in and talk to some of the townsfolk and see if we can find anything about find out anything about Bleak Falls Barrow and possibly Riverwood as a whole. And Julian is very, very new to the entire province, and so he's gonna be fairly curious. Wait. 
So, a costume? You're not serious. First, we're going to check in with uh, Alvor and see if he knows anything. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. So, um, can you tell me anything about Riverwood or uh, Bleak Falls Barrow, Alvor? Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. So nothing about Blake Falls Barrow then, eh? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Let's see if uh, Lucan knows anything. Uh, Lucan. Hello. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Um. The other day, you told me of something that had uh, happened around here. What was that again? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Well, I suppose I could help you get the claw back. Do you know where they uh, went with it? You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. Thank you. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go. Leave them to, uh, talk it amongst themselves. So it seems we're headed to Bleak Falls Barrow. And Julian's kind of gathered a little bit that that is uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. He noticed the uh, the structure whenever he was coming down the mountain from uh, Helgen, but he didn't know it was of any real importance. I'm trying to catch that butterfly for some alchemical ingredients. And those as well. They're just sitting there. I mean, why not, right? Wolves. Trying to get the drop on me, eh? Like that's going to happen. game really does look very good and um, the little icon over there reminded me of something going to favorite dragon skin and weather sense and this iron mace and I'm actually going to hotkey the iron mace so one two three four okay so now we have the mace a little bit of melee and the magic just in case the uh, the magic runs out on this on our uh, low level looks as though there's a little uh, guard station posted up here well hello friend Picked a bad time to get lost, or friend. not friend <laughs> Uh, not friendly at all. And it appears as though they have a crossbow. We do not want to be hit by that. And it appears as we were, anyway. I'm gonna grab that stuff and grab that 
gold. Heard someone up here. You know, I do realize Wildcat, um, alright then, I do realize that, uh, Wildcat increases the damage we deal, but I want to check and see what, yeah, we're on Master, okay. It increases the damage they do and the damage we do, but it balances out, so they're no longer, you know, damage sponges and... Neither are we, which I honestly, I, I really approve of that. And as for other weaponry, I'm actually going to put on some of this. Uh, I feel like that's good. As for other weaponry, such as... um crossbows, bows, swords, stuff like that. Julian knows how to use a bow. Uh, he lived on his father's farm, and his father being a Nord, and uh, being a very, very common man, not not really you know, pleased with magic or anything, he definitely learned how to use a bow. Uh, probably used uh, the axe, you know, to chop up wood and such things. So he definitely knows how to do that. Crossbows likely not he likely doesn't know how to use crossbows too well I mean he might you know learn in the future but as for what things that he instinct you know instinctually knows how to use bows are definitely a part of that yeah let's uh get some distance between us and them Hopefully that is uh, not true. Dropped a little quick save right there. Ooh, a vampire! Oh my dear, that is a vampire. That is uh, is not so good. It's not so good. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? So we already have our health healed up. Just set them on fire real quick. See if we can. Uh... Mainly worried about the vampire being able to cast that health drain spell is uh, not such a good thing. I also don't want to get hit by that ginormous ginormous uh, war hammer that that person has. Another vampire, that's not good, but again, still a fledgling, so I suppose better than, uh, better than it could be. We are going to use one of our homemade health potions, use another one, I suppose, and use a few of our magic potions. Ooh, that looks like a, uh, a crossbow. We do not want to get hit by that. That is for darn sure. We do want to try to see if we can hurry up and take him out, though. Alright. The only problem with dealing with vampires is the more they attack you, the more health they get, which is uh, definitely unfortunate. But I think we are going to probably pull out 
this bow. I'd love to use the crossbow again, but Julian's uh, you know, not very familiar with with uh, crossbows. Whoops, and apparently not bows either. <laughs> Nice shot. Nice shot, Julian. Take one more shot at him, but I don't really want to use uh, use him being stuck like that. Whoa, okay, okay. Let's, uh, ow. Let's do our best to hide out over here, pull up the bow again. Okay. Hurry up and get in here, cast some flame spells. And we got him. I don't know if that's all of them. It appears as though it may be. So, Eastern Iron Warhammer, Green Cloak, Pearl. It's not bad. That's good. That's also good. Ooh. Guy had a lot of good things on him, actually. Vampire boots. I might as well take uh, the armor and such things as well. I know there were some mages over here. And I'll dump some stuff if I need to. I will definitely be grabbing that. Don't really need a tomato. Although, yeah, you are very, very cold. That's not. It's not so good. Is that the mage that was the mage? All right. So I think that is just about everything. Frenzy potion, some gold, another crossbow, and eh, not really worth picking up. Again, Julian can't use it. I would suppose those are worth picking up, and eh, we can pick up some more arrows. All right, and uh, I'm gonna put on that backpack tomorrow, and so we can uh. Get a little bit of a boost to our healing magic. Is that everybody? I suppose it was. We actually handled that fight a lot better than I thought we were going to. I think we died once, which, uh, yeah, not too bad. Bleak Falls Temple. freezing we definitely want to get over there by that fire but I think uh, Julian wants to get a bit of a surprise on them if at all possible Another freaking crossbow user. Salt pile I'll definitely take. I don't think I need it. Whoa. I think she's down there, which means we can uh, move up a little bit. Not bad. Not bad, Julian. Don't really need anything from her. Don't need these skeevers. But we do need, ooh, we'll definitely take that ax. We do need is to warm up by this fire. Going to, uh, uh, not much, but better than nothing. We're very cold, but we're warming up, so that's a good thing. So I think I'm going to, uh, Sit here and warm up for a minute, 
and uh, we'll be right back. All right, hey guys. Um, so it turns out I recorded a little bit too much to put in just one video. So I'm actually going to be splitting this video into two parts. Um, so you've already watched the first part, and we're going to be picking up in the next video right where we left off here. If you liked the video, make sure to click the like button. And if you really enjoyed this, then I'd love it if you could subscribe. So uh, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.